Good morning. On this cool, wintry Monday, I'm looking forward to doing some yoga with you and warming things up. So let's get started as we always do by just coming to any comfortable seat, really whatever feels good in your body today. Grounding your sits bones, finding that nice tall spine, eyes closed or gently half open. Taking these few breaths to just settle in. Softening your forehead, softening the tiny muscles between your eyebrows. Feeling this softness as it moves down past your nose to your lips, your mouth, your jaw. And then finally feeling this softness as it moves down through your throat into your shoulders. Easing into your heart as you find that warm light behind your heart, that gentle lift. Softening down into your belly, letting it get nice and loose and soft like a Buddha belly. And then finally feeling that softness as it moves and melts all the way down and out through your fingertips and through your toes. From here, inhale, roll your shoulders up to your ears. Open your mouth, taking a big exhale. One more time, inhale, roll your shoulders up. Open your mouth, let it go, exhale. From here, inhaling palms to prayer. Feeling free to join me if you'd like for three big ohms. Inhaling here. into your shoulders and maybe even all the way into your hips. Taking three more breaths here, letting your breath get nice and slow and steady. From child's pose, inhale, coming up to all fours, tabletop, shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. And then exhale for cat, hollow your belly, bringing your chin to your chest. Inhale, cow, belly down, eyes and tailbone up again. Exhale, hollow, cat. Inhale, cow. Again, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Two more rounds. Exhale. Inhale, final round, exhale. Inhale, cow, and then bring your spine to neutral, pressing the child's pose, hips to heels, take a big exhale. Coming into down dog, curl your toes under, lift your knees, building your upside down V shape here. As you bend one knee and bend the other, Shake your head, your neck out a little bit as you look between your big toes. Making sure you have lots of space between every finger. Breathing here, two more breaths, Ujjayi breath. So your lips are sealed and you're breathing in and out through your nose. And now from dog, inhale forward for a high plank. Exhale, press back. Down dog. One more time. Inhale forward, high plank. Exhale, press back. Down dog. From here, bend your knees, look forward, and step or hop, top of the mat. 
Inhale, look forward as you lengthen your spine, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Pressing all the way to standing here. Inhale, stretch it up, and then exhale. Palms to prayer at your heart. Release. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, look to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold. Bend your knees a little, separating your feet hip distance. Grab your elbows, and for ragdoll, just sway right and left. Right and left. Bending one knee. Bending the other, really getting loose. Imagine that any tension or stress is really pouring out through the top of your head. And then come back to center as you release your arms, bring your toes and heels to touch. Bend your knees and let's take five slow counts to roll to standing. Here we go, five, four, three, two, Shoulders roll back. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, palms to prayer. Release. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold. Stepping back to a high plank. Inhale, here. Exhale, lower all the way down. Untuck your toes. Inhale, gentle cobra. Exhale, child's hips to heels. And then downward facing dog. From dog, bend your knees, looking forward. Step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Pressing all the way up here, inhale, reach, and then exhale, palms to prayer, release. Again, inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look. Exhale, vinyasa. Any variation, coming back to the high plank. Lower, chaturanga, or all the way down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then we all finish together in down dog. Remembering it's always okay to modify. Or to skip a vinyasa completely and just step back to down dog. Last breath. And now bend your knees, looking forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Pressing all the way up here, inhale, stretch. Exhale, palms to prayer, releasing your arms. For chair pose, sink your hips low, arms up. Sink even lower here with the exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, fold forward as you hinge at the hips. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, vinyasa. Let's warm it up. One beat for every pose in your vinyasa until we finish together. Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Breathing here, in and out through your nose. Last two. And now bend your knees, looking forward. Step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold. Pressing all the way up to standing here. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale, palms to prayer. Release. Again, chair pose, hips low. Stay here as you inhale. Look down, fold forward, and exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold. Stepping your left foot to the back of the mat, lower your knee, untuck your toes, low lunge, one breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back, downward facing dog. Stay for two breaths or for a vinyasa, inhale forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold. Chair pose, utkatasana. Sink it low into the chair, exhale. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips. Inhale, look to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold. Step your right foot to the back of the mat, lower the knee, low lunge, second side. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back, downward facing dog. Stay for two breaths or for a vinyasa. Inhale forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, 
Downward facing dog, find your breath, slow it down. Using that ujjayi to calm your nervous system and to build some heat. Last breath. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Stay nice and low with the exhale. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, palms to prayer. Release your arms. Again, chair pose. Hips low, arms up, stay here, inhale. And then come halfway down with the exhale for Ardha Utkatasana. Arms long. Back parallel to the floor. Your neck is in line with your spine. Last breath, inhale. Look down, fold forward, exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold. Step your left foot to the back of the mat, this time high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Stay as you exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back. Downward facing dog, two breaths or a vinyasa. Inhale forward, exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale. Downward facing dog, bend your knees, step, hop forward, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Say so good nice and low, exhale. Inhale all the way up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold. Stepping your right foot to the back of the mat. High lunge, second side. Inhale. Stay as you exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step it back. Downward facing dog. This time, inhale forward, high plank. Stay here. Hug your belly to your spine. Drive your heels back. Send your heart forward. Pressing the mat away, lifting the backs of the legs to the ceiling. And now toes and heels together, place your right hand under your face, swing your heels to the right, take the left arm up, side plank, Vazi Sasana. Remember, you can always modify lowering your right knee. Keep reaching into that left hand, inhale. And then exhale, left hand to the mat, second side, roll over your toes, swing your heels to the left, reach your right arm up. Strong left arm presses the mat away here, fire it up. Lengthening, inhale. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Separate your feet, high plank, breathe, inhale. Down dog, open your mouth, take a big exhale. And now look at your toes, walking your hands to your feet at the back of the mat. Grab hold of your big toes for Padangusasana. Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold. Relax your neck. Soften your face. Remember, you can bend your knees here as much as you need to. Last two. Parahasasana. Slide your hands under the soles of your feet. Big toes line up with the wrists. Inhale, look forward, lengthening your spine. Keep that length as you exhale, deepen your fold. Rolling your weight slightly forward if you want more of a stretch. Last three. Slide your hands out, look forward, and let's walk it back out. Downward facing dog. From dog, bend your knees, looking forward. Step or hop, top of the mat. 
Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your hold. Pressing all the way up here, inhale, stretch to the sky. Exhale, palms to prayer. Hands to your hips, let's take tree pose. So shift weight to your left foot, lifting the right knee up. Place the right foot inside the left thigh or the left ankle. Hands are always welcome to stay on your hips. Maybe you wanna bring palms to prayer. From here, you're welcome to reach your arms to the sky. So the tree is a really great metaphor to envision as we move into this pose because you want to root down into your feet like the roots of a tree. Plugging the left big toe, the left baby toe and the heel down. Feel your tall trunk lengthen all the way up through the crown of your head and those leaves at the tips of your fingers can maybe blow in the wind a little bit as they stretch to the sun. From here, bring your palms back to prayer, hands to your hips. Inhale, guide your right knee back to center. Exhale, step the right foot to the back of the mat, high lunge, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat, and now take the left arm up, simple twist. So the right hand is on a block or on the mat, left arm really reaching to the sky. Exhale, left hand to the mat, step it back, high plank, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Always using this pose to check in, to find your breath, to slow things down. And now bend your knees, looking forward, step or jump through to your seat for Navasana, your boat pose. Holding behind the knees, you can keep that if you'd like the whole time. From there, you might want to bring your arms alongside your calves, keeping your eyes up, your face relaxed, shoulders relaxed, squeezing your knees, your inner thighs, and your ankles. Last breath. From here, go ahead and grab behind your knees if you're not already, and just start to rock and roll yourself, massaging your spine, building momentum for a vinyasa in three, two, rock on up to a high plank, flow through a vinyasa, any variation, and if you want, you can just meet us as we all finish together in Downward Facing Dog. From here, bend your knees, looking forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold. Pressing all the way up, inhale, stretch. And then exhale, palms to prayer. Hands to your hips, let's take tree pose, second side. So shift weight to your right foot, lifting the left knee 90 degrees. Place that left foot inside your right thigh or your ankle, hands on your hips or palms in prayer, gazing straight ahead. Stay there, or on the exhale, you can extend your arms to the sky. Eyes up, shoulders relaxed. Again here, really channel that tree. On your next exhale, bring your palms to prayer at your heart again. Hands to your hips, and then guide the left knee back to center. Exhale, left foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, both hands down. Take the right arm to the sky for your simple twist, second side. Left hand rests on a block or on the mat for three. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, right hand to the mat, step it back, high plank, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, let's hold this up dog for three. Tops of the feet press down. Two, crown of the head grows tall. Last breath. 
last breath, inhale. Down dog, flip your toes, open your mouth, take in a big exhale. From down dog, step the right foot forward, spin your left heel down, coming up for warrior two. Right away, reverse, right arm to the sky. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose, right hand to a mat or a block, or the right forearm on your right thigh. Left arm long in a diagonal. Keep driving your left heel down. And imagine your ribcage is really spiraling open to the sun. From your inhale, come up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg for triangle as you reach forward, out, and down. Left arm stretching to the sky. Stay here for three. Lengthen as you inhale. And then exhale, wrap the left arm behind your back, tucking your fingers in your right hip. Stay here two more breaths, looking up, past the left shoulder, toward the sky. And now look down, bend the right knee, looking more forward for your half moon pose. Shift weight into your straight right leg. Stacking the left hip over the right, looking more forward than down. If you want, you can reach the left arm to the sky for Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe keeping a block under your right hand to make this more reasonable. Engaging the right quad, plugging the right big toe down. Last breath. Use your exhale to land in a warrior two. Virabhadrasana B, reverse, right arm up. Inhale, warrior two, vinyasa. Cartwheel your hands down, flow through it. Let it go as we finish together. Adhimukha Sanasana, downward facing dog. Maybe taking a big inhalation. Open your mouth and exhale. And now let's take dolphin, lowering to forearms and elbows, palms down or fingers laced. Breathing here for five. Bending your knees as much as you need to, or maybe your heels need to float off the mat, that's okay. Child's pose, two breaths, knees down, hips back, rest. Coming back up into downward facing dog. Stay here for two breaths or for a vinyasa. Inhale forward, exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale downward facing dog. And now step the left foot forward, spin the right heel down, warrior two, second side. Reverse it, left arm up. Inhale warrior two, exhale side angle pose. Left hand to a block or to the mat or the left forearm to your left thigh. Draw that nice line from your right middle finger down through your torso and out through your right heel. From here, inhale, come up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two, and then straighten your left leg for triangle, reaching forward, out, and down. 
Right arm stretches to the sky for three. Lengthen here as you inhale. Exhale, wrap the right arm behind your back and tuck your fingers in your left hip. Stay in here, last two. And now look down. Bend the left knee, looking more forward for your half moon. Shift weight into your straight left leg. Stacking right hip over left. If you'd like, reach your right arm to the sky. Maybe placing your left hand on a block or on a water bottle to make this a little more reasonable. As you continue to look more forward than down, and really plug the left big toe down. Last breath, length and inhale. Picture warrior two, landing the right foot at the back of the mat, Virabhadrasana B, reverse. Inhale, warrior two, Vinyasa. Cartwheel your hands down, wash it out. And then we finish together. Adho Mukhasvanasana, downward facing dog. Taking a big inhalation, open your mouth and exhale. Set the right foot forward, spin the left heel down, placing both hands inside your right foot, and then lock your hands between your feet to the middle of the mat, hands on the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold. For Prasarita, Padatanasana, A variation. Remembering you can always put your hands on a block. You can always bend your knees. Whatever you need to do for your body to make this safe. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. Growing the crown of your head toward the floor. And now grab hold of your big toes for the D variation. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Quad strong to protect your hamstrings. Last three. Lift your head, place your hands on the mat, and now turn your toes out wide and your heels in narrow. Look at your left foot and just bend your left knee as you bring your left hip towards your left heel. And you flex your right toes to the sky in what we call a dorsal flexion. You can remember that because it's kind of like the dorsal fin on a dolphin. So your right knee and toes are pointing up. You might want to use your left elbow to kind of gently guide that left knee open. And try to keep your heart lifted, your face calm. Just notice what you feel. For your second side, you're just going to bend your right knee and walk it over to the second side. Flexing the left toes to the sky, the left knee points to the sky. Your right elbow might help to gently guide your knee open. Keeping your heart lifted. I always feel a little bit like Spider-Man in this pose. Landing on a roof somewhere to catch the bad guy. If that helps you to be here, pretend you're Spider-Man. Keeping your shoulders relaxed, your face calm. And now look to center and walk your hands back to center as you straighten your legs. And turn your toes in again, heels wide. Hands to your hips. Inhale, very slowly come all the way up. And then take your arms wide. 
reach back, interlacing hands behind you. Inhale to lift, and then exhale, bow forward, or prasarita variation C. And if you always put one thumb on top, put the other one on top today, and just notice how it feels to kind of wake up to your regular habits. Breathing here for three. Bring your hands to your hips and then hands to the mat under your face. Lift your head, looking to the right and for down dog. Step your feet back, your hands forward. Pedal your dog out a little bit if that feels good. And then let's take a vinyasa. Inhale forward, exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale downward facing dog. Toes and heels touch, inhale the right leg up. Exhale right knee, right shoulder. Inhale, right leg up, exhale, right knee, left armpit. Down dog, right leg in the sky, inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose, landing the right foot forward, lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. From here, place your hands on blocks or on the mat. Inhale, look forward, let me lengthen. And then exhale, rock your hips back for Ardha Hanumanasana, your half monkey pose. These blocks can be at any height to make this viable in your body. And you can always bend your knee as well. So finding a nice lift in your heart. No need to squish your face into your leg. From here, keep your right hand on the block or on the mat and reach your left hand across your right ankle. So now both hands are outside of the right ankle. You might want to stop right there. Really engage your right quad to stabilize and to protect your hamstring here. For a little more, bring your right hand to your right hip. Maybe stop there or reach your right arm to the sky. This is a revolved triangle variation. I find I really need to engage my core to stay stable here. That means actively drawing your belly to your spine, engaging your right quad. And not taking yourself too seriously because it's just a weird made up pose, right? Last breath, inhale. Exhale, lower. Right hand back to the block. Left hand back to the left block or on the mat. One more time, lengthen, inhale, and then exhale. Feel free to deepen your pose a little bit more. Final stretch. And now lift your head, re-bend your knee, plant your hands, step it back, downward facing dog. From dog, inhale forward, high plank. Let's come down to forearm plank, forearms and elbows. Remember, you can always lower your knees if you want more support. Hug your belly to your spine, quad strong, back broad, breath steady. Last two. Use all your strength to straighten your arms as you come back up to a high plank. Inhale, down dog. Open your mouth and take a big exhale. And now toes and heels touch. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee, right armpit. Down dog, left leg in the sky. Inhale, exhale, knee to your nose. Landing the left foot forward. Lower your back knee, untuck the back toes. Inhale, look forward. Maybe grab your blocks here to have them handy. Look forward to lengthen. And then exhale, rock your hips back for your second side half monkey, Ardha Hanumanasana. Flexing your toes back to your face. Tracking that left hip back on this side. Breathing through whatever it is you're feeling. Remembering emotions come and go. Sensations come and go. And we're just practicing staying with whatever comes up. Keep 
your left hand where it is. Reach your right hand across so both hands are now on top of that left block or on the mat. Maybe stop there. If you want to go a little further, bring your right hand to, excuse me, left hand to left hip. Maybe stop there. Final variation might be to reach the left arm to the sky. Again, here, stabilize. Hug your belly to your spine. Engage your left quad. You can look to the left or you can look forward. Finding that essence of revolved triangle. Carefully release your left hand. Place your right hand again back on top of the right block or on the mat. Inhale, lift to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold one more time. And now lift your head, re-bend your knee, plant your hands. Let's step it back. Downward facing dog. Stay for two breaths or for a vinyasa. Inhale forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come on down to your knees and then rock your knees forward so you're seated on your heels at the top of the mat. If this is asking too much, grab your block, sit on your block as you separate your feet. You could sit on a bolster here as well. If your knees are healthy and you want a little more, lift your hips, separate your feet, and land your hips on the floor. So from here, you might want to have a strap. Taking that strap or towel or sock or whatever you have nearby in your right hand, reach your right arm up, bend the elbow, dropping the hand behind your back, and then take the left hand down toward the floor. Reach back and see if you can either clasp your fingers or the strap. Keeping your eyes up, your shoulders relaxed. Our job is just to stay and breathe. Sometimes when we are longtime fans of vinyasa flow, we get used to always moving, not holding one pose longer than a few breaths. This pose asks us to try something different, to work with staying, to notice when intensity or discomfort or joy or ease comes up, to use the breath to stay with it. Very carefully release. I like to shake my arms a little. You might want to also. And then right away, take that strap in your left hand. Take the left arm to the sky, bending your elbow. Reach your right hand toward the ground. And then reach back and see if you can clasp the strap or your fingers behind your back. Let your head just confidently sort of press back into your left forearm. Notice your face, if it's tight or tense. Notice your jaw. Soften them all. Don't be surprised if one side is a lot harder or easier than the other. This is really normal, especially if you have a dominant arm or hand. Very carefully release that bind. You can set your strap aside. Shake your arms out a little. Just notice whatever came up there. And then put your hands and let's come to down dog. You might feel some things in your lower body right now too. This is normal. Just notice. Stay for two breaths or for a vinyasa. Inhale forward. Exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog. And then exhale downward facing dog. 
Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward to lengthen, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Pressing all the way to standing here, inhale, stretch. Exhale, fold forward right away, take it down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, deepen your fold. Stepping your left foot to the back of the mat, take down dog, right leg in the sky, and open your hip. Stay here or feel free to flip your dog as you spin on the ball of the left foot. And land the right foot on the mat behind the left calf and the right arm long to the sky. If you flipped, come back. Everybody down dog, right leg in the sky. Inhale, exhale, pigeon. Landing your shin forward. Lower your back knee, untuck the back toes. Inhale, lift to lengthen. Stay there if you want, or walk your arms long for your forward fold and pigeon. Breathing here. Lifting your head, walk your hands in toward your shin, curl your back toe, and let's step it back, downward facing dog. From here, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, look forward, and then exhale, deepen your fold. Pressing all the way up here, inhale, stretch, right away, exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips. Inhale, look to lengthen. Exhale, deepen your fold, stepping your right foot to the back of the mat, down the left leg in the sky, open your hip. Stay here, or flip your dog. Spinning on the right foot, landing the left foot on the mat behind the right calf. Left arm long in a diagonal as you open things up. If you flipped, come back. Everybody down dog, left leg in the sky. Inhale, exhale, pigeon. Landing your shin forward, lower your back knee, untuck the back toes. Inhale, lift, lengthen. And then if you want, exhale, fold it forward. Five big breaths. Lifting your head, walk your hands back in. Curl your back toe and send it back. Downward facing dog. Staying for two breaths or for a vinyasa. Inhale forward, exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale downward facing dog. From down dog, bend your knees, look forward. Step or jump through to your seat. We're going to take a reverse tabletop. So place your feet hip distance, hands behind you, fingers point to your hips. Inhale, and then use your exhale to lift your pelvis to the sky. Big toes, baby toes pressing down actively, heels drive down, strong arms. Keep lifting here, last breath, inhale. And then softly exhale, lower. Rolling onto your back right away for bridge. Feet hip distance, middle fingers touch your heels. Exhale, 
Inhale, lift your pelvis. Breathing here for five. Last big breath, inhale. And then softly exhale, lower. Resting here with your knees together for a breath or two. We'll take one more back bend. So another bridge or reverse tabletop is great. A full back bend or a camel on your knees or a bow on your belly if you'd like. So set it up for your choice. Feet hip distance for bridge or for a full back bend. Hands and feet in place. Exhale and then inhale, lift it up. You're warm and you're open. So really breathe into this final back bend. This is probably the last time you'll do something like this today. And it's a great opportunity to energize, to really let go of anything that's constricting or tense or tight in your front body. Keep lifting, opening, inhale. And then softly, gently tuck your chin lower. Soles of the feet together, knees fall open, left hand on your belly, right hand on your heart, close your eyes if you want. Take in a big inhalation, open your mouth, exhale. Resting in Supta Baddha Konasana. Hands outside your thighs, gently guide your knees together, hugging your knees into your chest. Make those few little circles to the left and to the right. And then keep the right knee where it is and extend the left leg long down the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, twist, dropping the knee across your body. Left hand on top of the right thigh as you look over your right shoulder. Breathing here. Three. Inhale, bring your knee back to center. Exhale, extend it long down the mat. Inhale, draw the left knee up. And then exhale, drop it across your body for your second side. Left arm long, maybe looking over that left shoulder as you unravel for three. Inhale, bring your knee back to center, hugging both knees in close. And then for happy baby, bringing your fingers to your arches. Heels stacked over your knees. Pressing your belly button down into the floor. Maybe rocking a little bit right and left if it feels good in your body. Coming back to center, taking a big inhalation. Open your mouth and exhale. And you'll hug your knees in close. Gently rock on up to your seat. Extending your legs out long for Kashimottanasana. Shake them a little bit if you want. Wiggle your hips back once or twice. Inhale, arms up, maybe with a strap in hand. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift, lengthening your spine. Exhale, deepen your fold, grabbing the sides of the feet or your toes, or maybe just pressing your hands to your ankles. Doing whatever you can do today. Picturing your 
your spine lengthening with every inhale. Deepening the exhale. Stay with it, last three. Lifting your head, arms reach forward, come all the way up as you inhale, and then exhale, palms to prayer, soft bow. Lifting your head, release your arms, hug your knees in close, and then for Baddha Konasana, bring the soles of your feet together, thumbs in your arches. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, fold. Shoulders nice and soft. Feel free to walk your arms forward. Remember, you want to keep your spine fairly long and straight for three. Lifting your head, inhale, come all the way up. Hands outside your thighs. Guide your knees together as you wrap your arms around your shins, bringing your forehead to your knees. Open your mouth and exhale. And now lift your head. Come into any comfortable seated position as we drop right into our closing meditation. Sit bones grounded, hands in your lap or maybe on top of your thighs, eyes closed or gently half open. Coming right into the rhythm of the breath that you've established now for this first 50 minutes of the flow. If your mind is wandering, you could picture the waves in an ocean. As the wave rises, Picture yourself one as it falls, one as the next wave rises, two as it falls, two as the next wave rises, inhale, three, exhale, four, and maybe continue in this shamatha counting style meditation.
now in that peace, gently make your way into the Shavasana, rolling onto your back or your side, letting your legs get loose and floppy. Palms fall open, setting the weight in your hips, your shoulders, rocking your head lightly left to find a little nest. And then one last time, taking a big inhalation. Open your mouth, exhale. Gently starting to breathe into your fingers. Wake up your toes. Softening back up through your ankles and your wrists. Easing into your knees, your hips. Softening back into your belly, your heart. Feeling that breath come all the way up and out through the crown of your head. And now reach back, interlacing your fingers, lengthen your legs long and stretch it all out one more time. Inhale. And then exhale, release. One at a time, gently guiding your knees in close. Give yourself a squeeze. And then softly just roll on to one side, taking a final breath or two here in stillness. And then as you're ready, gently beginning to press back up to your seat, keeping your eyes closed, lips sealed. Once you've settled in here a little bit, drop your head to the right, take a nice loose circle of your neck. And then reverse, swinging it to the left. Finally bringing everything back to center. 
Inhaling, pause to prayer. We'll take one final om. Inhaling here. Uh. Exhaling, we bow forward in very simple gratitude for this body, this breath, this moment, and this life. For as the yoga reminds us, each of these will pass, and that we might never take any of those breaths or any of those moments, even and especially the most awkward and challenging ones, for granted. Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha. I offer all efforts to all teachers. Inhale, we rise up. My friends and my teachers, thank you so much for practicing with me today. As always, I wish you a beautiful sunny day. And if there's any way I can help or if there are any questions you might have, please reach out. I'm always happy to help.